What's up, Thumbicus Nation, and welcome back to another Nezakoi episode three. Yeah, episode three review. If you haven't watched the others, there will be a link of the playlist down below. But if you don't and you just want to watch this, well, be my guest. But anyway, let's get right into it. Okay, so at the start of the episode, we see that Raku's having a dream about the past, about meeting the young girl, and she's reading a story, and she she says this is her favorite book, but it has a sad ending. So what young Raku does is makes the ending into a happy ending. And then after that, before she, well, she asks his name. Of course, he says his name, and then he asks, and then he just wakes up. And basically, what happens after that, he just wishes that he could dream about it more so he could learn more, learn her name and her face. And then after that, it just cuts into the opening. And then after the opening... We see Raku heading to school, which he meets up with Kurosaki. And when we see Kurosaki, she looks like she didn't have any sleep. And the reason why is because she was being paparazzi by her, by the gangsters, basically asking questions about how the date went, what did you do, yeah, all of this and that. And we also learned that Kurosaki, I mean, um, Raku was also paparazzi by the Yakuza. As they were heading to class, they were discussing about the fake relationship and how they should deal with it. Which they think that they should try to get rid of Claude. Well, let's just say um, Stalker. I'm going to just call him Stalker. Because that's what he is after watching this episode. Well, basically, they enter the classroom, and then he goes to try to talk to Kosaki, but then the classroom interrupts and says, Congratulations on being in a, re uh, in a relationship with each other, and like, all this and that, and we find out the how they find, we find out that the, the way that they find out about their relationship is that there was two, uh, Shu got the scoop. Uh, from two students that spotted them on a date, which they were on a date Saturday. So basically, it was. So basically, we. So yeah, it's on a Monday. Yeah, wait. So they skipped the day to go to Monday. But anyway, um, you know, all this and that, and then <clears throat> Raku is trying to explain, well, we're not in a relationship, and right after he says that, his fucking Claude in, um, senses appear, and you see Claude on a tree with binoculars fucking stalking these guys while at school, so now they have no choice but to act like they're in a relationship at school, which Kir Kurosaki was hoping that they would just uh, drop the act once they get to school. But now they got to do it at school. When they're off of school, basically all the time. Um, <laughs> then, ah, uh, shit. What happens after that? Oh, we see um after class we see Kiyosaki and Raku talking about st still talking about the Claude and how to get rid of him and then she goes and says, Well, I got things to do, so she goes away and then we see Did I say Kosaki? Well basically I meant Kiyosaki. If I said Kosaki, it's Kiyosaki. 
But then we see Kosaki um, appear in front of our main character. And he's basically trying to tell her that um, they're basically not in a relationship. But he doesn't want... But he's also thinking to himself that her response is, Why are you telling... Why am I the only one that's being told this when you could be telling this to everyone? And so he just starts changing it up and basically saying, well, I don't think being um, Kurosaki are meant to be or some shit like that. And then um, Kosaki is basically pointing out, uh, well... I think the reason why she likes you is because she likes your personality, personal personality, um, and then she starts uh, pointing out a few things that makes him a great guy. And you know, Raku, he's like, oh, I can't believe she's saying all this to me. Well, while before she could say anything else. Uh, I want to see. A, I want to see. A s extra student, like let's just say an extra. Um, what you call those in movies? An extra role. Well, they bump into Kosaki, which causes the key that we've seen from episode one to fall out of her bag. Once Ranku sees this, he starts questioning himself and being like, could this be the key that unlocks this locket and all this and that? And then all of a sudden you see um, Kosaki go into panic mode saying, no, this is my ho house key. No, I mean, no, I'm mistaking this key for my house, but it's actually... A key to my bookshelf. And then all of a sudden you just see a sprint out of there. And then you just see Raku just going on about his business. And saying, shit, I forgot to tell her about me and Kosaki, uh, Kurosaki. But then you see Kosaki just sitting there saying, I didn't have enough courage to say it this time. Basically, she's either shot about... Um, Showing her true feelings towards Raku or she doesn't want to get us. She doesn't want to interfere with Kurosaki and Raku's relationship. But then the next day we see Raku and Kurosaki still acting like a, like a couple. And then his Claude senses pop up still and you see his dumb ass his this is the one guy I fucking wish they would just kill in the show because this guy is just freaking stalks all the time he's still in that same tree with his binoculars and that guy's just a fucking creep I just fucking hate him and then after that we see uh, Kurosaki and Raku on top of the school roof there and they're just and talking about fake relationship and Raku points out that hey maybe we should tell one of our closest friend like our friend like a friend that we know that won't share this information out but then after he says that we see Kurosaki flip out And Raku is just like in his head saying, I was just giving her, like, giving her, uh, trying to help her, or some shit like that. I forgot. What, it, what is it? Um, not a helping hand. Basically, we they should tell somebody to ease um, the or get it off their chest. But 
all that uh, is just oh my god my fucking head but anyway after that we see Shu uh, and Raku talking and he Ra- Raku's basically talking about how um, the previous conversation with Kurosaki and all that how she flipped and all that and Shu is just telling him well to be honest uh, they do. She he does see her with other people, but then she, he's like, "Well, she's basically more chummy towards you and nobody else." And then Raku is just like, "Really?" Basically saying like, basically like. Telling himself is that true and all that, so he walks away and goes into the school and he overhears these girls talking about uh, how Kurosaki, how they think Kurosaki is avoiding them and basically looking down on them because she's good looking and all that. So Maku rushes to go find. Uh, Kurosaki, and he stumbles across this class, the classroom that I think they're in, that they are usually in, and he spots Kurosaki writing notes, I guess, on students that she's been jotting down notes on, so she could better, so she can probably start a conversation with them, and right when Raku is about to approach her. Kurosaki gets embarrassed about it and she's like, go ahead, make fun of me, but you don't understand my life. And then Kuros- um, it's kind of hard to live a life as a gangster. Well, a daughter of a gangster whenever you have fucking stalker McGee Claude um, ruining her life because he would just like... Every person that she hung around with, basically what she was saying, she, he would get information about them, which made her transfer to from school to school to school, and she thought maybe going to Japan would change that. And she basically wants to live a normal life and have friends. And then Raku goes and says, yes, I understand that. Um, I went through the same thing as you. I also made no book, um, no book like that, um, to help me um uh, make friends. And he's basically going off about students at their school currently. And he's like, if you want, I can help you. Um, with your notebook, and she agrees to help. And then they start talking, and then you see them having a conversation. And you see Kosaki outside the door listening in on them. And she catches uh, them, uh, Kosaki saying something about, um, now this is on, now uh, something about the fake relationship being a performance and it's sticking to Kosaki's head. What does she mean by performance? And then it just cuts scene. It just cuts the episode right then and there. So, this episode, it was alright. It's just fucking Claude, fucking McGee Stalker. <sighs> to be honest, I already know where, where he's going to be going in the character tier list. I don't, like right now, I don't even have, like, a favorite, like my number one favorite <clears throat> character yet. Um, we really weren't introduced to any new characters this episode, which thank God because I really do not want to learn. Well, we're gonna probably get new char- a new character next episode, but if. Because, like, the prediction, what I, 
which I forgot to say in the last episode, my prediction on this episode was that uh, Kasaki was going to talk, tell the other students about the relationship. But then, on the other hand, I was like, well, she's probably not that kind of girl. I think she's the type of character that if they would w- would have wanted um, the classmates to know that they would um, basically... How would I say? They would tell the class that, hey, we're dating. Um, Yeah, we're dating. And all this and that. So, I'm glad that... um, Kasaki didn't because her character is basically... She's very sweet. Which... Right now, I'm thinking that she's the girl, but then after watching the outro and seeing Kurosaki and watching all kind of other romance animes, you would the first girl the guy meets is the one that they end up with. But I kind of want Kosaki. I kind of want Kosaki to be the girl. Not gonna lie much we're gonna get introduced to some other character because i think yeah masamuni kun's revenge was the same was it the same thing no because wait no because he meets the guy that you think is a girl but wait no masamuni was talking about Aki. He never... Usually the first character that they talk about is the one... Or first character they meet is usually the one they end up with. In most animes. But anyway, my prediction for next episode... I feel like next episode, since it's going to be about the notebook... I think... Because, I mean, Kurosaki is going to get a lot, like, going to be more friendly towards other people. And I'm going to keep an eye out for the beginning for which female character um, had that sad, that the that they fell in love with the book with the sad ending. So I'm going to keep an eye out on, on that. In the future episodes. So that uh, give me an idea. Of who that girl is. But who knows. There might be three more. That had like the same book. Well anyway. Thank you guys for so much for watching. Be sure to hit that like button. If you enjoy. Um, and. Let, let me know in the comments. If. This is one of your favorite animes. And I will talk to you guys on the next time. Peace out, everybody.